Hi guys, I'm Jeffrey Sproul. I'm an amateur photographer from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you guys like Lightroom tips, tricks, tutorials, vlogs, all that, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And for today's video, we got 10 Lightroom tips that you should know. This is a little sticky tack. I kind of got ADHD or something, whatever that is when you have to play with something constantly. Whenever I'm editing photos, I'm just sitting here playing with this. Don't know why. It's calming. Anyway, let's jump into it. Now this first one comes in really handy. So if you go into Lightroom and you're using the brush tool or the gradient filter or the radio filter, whatever, and you're just trying to paint something in, and you're trying to go across and you can't see what you're doing, simply just hit O on your keyboard and that'll actually reveal your mask so you can see where you're painting. Now this tip works really good for portraits or if you have a little speck on your lens that you want to get rid of you just come over to the spot removal tool click that and then down here you can see visualize spots and if you have any spots on your lens anything that you'd like to get rid of it'll show it for you simple as that Now this one you gotta use all the time. You just hit backslash on your keyboard and it shows you before and after. Really comes in handy. Now here's a fun one, kind of like before and after, but you just hit L on your keyboard and that'll give you a darker view to look at your photo without all the distraction of everything else. And if you hit it one more time, it'll only show your photo. That's always nice after you've edited everything and you just want to take a look at it without any distractions on screen. And then just hit L again and it goes back to normal. Now this one's nice because if you're going through a lot of your photos and you want to see which ones you want to keep, you can just hit B on the photos that you like and then they'll all be in your quick collection. So now you can go back and you can edit all the photos that you liked in your quick collection. Really handy. Now here's a really, really nice one. Luminance mask. So if you go to a gradient filter and you just pull the gradient filter over your image completely. Hitting O on the keyboard will reveal your mask. Now, whatever you change will affect the entire image, but if you only want to affect the highlights or the shadows, come down to Range Mask and hit Luminance. Now, using these sliders will either change your highlights or they'll change your shadows. Show Luminance Mask so you can see what you're working with. That's only gonna affect your shadows. Bring it this way. And that's only gonna affect your highlights. And this just shows the harshness. So if you want it to affect more of a certain area, like let's just say that. Now whatever you change here will only affect that part of the image. Now color calibration is a really fun one. Just scroll down to the very bottom here. And this is one way that you can change all of your colors, kind of like the HSL tab. Let's pump the saturation up. By dragging the slider around, it changes the tint. Bring that all the way up. You can make it look very cool. Look at that teal look there. Play around with it, see what you can come up with. I think it's quite cool. Auto masking really comes in handy. So 
but let's just say you want to paint in a certain part of this cliff here. Now, you start painting, and you're getting outside of the lines, and you know that's just going to look awful when you change stuff. So, the way to avoid that is you come down and you hit Auto Mask, and then you can change your size, your feather, whatever. Now, you just paint across it, and it'll do its best to stay within that cliff, just like that. So that's a very handy tool to have. Now one thing that I always do with my photos is I like to bring out the sky a bit more. So after I've done editing my photo to how I'd want it to look like, I just grab a gradient filter and I pull it down over my sky. And then I can just change how I want just my sky to look. And it's another added way of just, you know, bringing out the details in the sky. Might be a silly tip, but I do it to every photo I have where I have a really nice sky and I want to show it. And last of all, copying your settings from one photo to another. I'll show you two separate ways of doing this. So let's just say you like the edit here and you want to transfer it to your other photos. You just click, you hit shift, and you highlight those other photos, and then you hit sync. Synchronize and I'll move all of those across each image. The other way you can do it is you right click, you hit develop settings, copy settings, hit copy, bring it over to another photo, right click, develop settings, paste settings. Again, that looks terrible, but that's another way you can do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had fun making it. If you guys like these tips, there's more on my channel in shorts and other videos, and I'm going to try to upload some vlogs down the road. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.